Well, hello there. Happy Thanksgiving to you who celebrated, even if you didn't. That's fine, too. Hopefully, at least you got to spend some family time and maybe even shared what you would be thankful for. I want to know what I'm thankful for being born in the 2010s, mostly because if I had been born in the 80s and got this game as a gift or even spent my allowance running it, I would have probably bit my dad's nose off. Mega Man isn't a game, it's a self-torturing device, it's the equivalent of doing the salt bird challenge, the eraser bird challenge, and giving yourself a smiley face all at the same time, in the same place, on the bottom of your foot, it's the most backhanded compliment of the game that I've ever dealt with. It's ranked the fifth hardest NES game ever made, only just behind like ghosts and goblins, battle toads, and uh, other handfuls of games. I'm not going to say it's a bad game only because it's truly not, it's just way dang too hard. I'd even make it to a singular boss fight, well I made it to the boss, but I died immediately and had to start the level all over again. I never begged for it or whooping before, but this game is exactly what it is. I want to play, but it's just not mentally worth it. I get too excited when I play with these controllers are just thin plastic. I'm gladly admitting that I'm not good at Mega Man. There are people who are good though. Some people got so good that they do challenges as if you needed that. There's the no death challenge. Yeah, right. The speed run, no power up challenge. All kinds of other ridiculousness. Meanwhile, I just want to be able to produce endorphins while playing and not grow an ulcer. This isn't your typical side-scrolling platformer. This game preys on the weak. Whenever you start up the game, it lets you choose the stage you would like to play. As if it makes a difference. It's like having the choice between a firing squad with nail guns or letting gerbils eat you alive. Would you rather be dragged through a, a glass desert naked or be waterboarded? It doesn't matter because unless you're a masochist, this isn't just fun. It's fun. What? It's too dang hard. I died to Bomb Man, Fire Man, Ice Man, Batman, Spider Man, Michelle Man, Muffin Man, Lee Man's, all of them. I know I like many of the other games in the franchise. Yeah, other games. I'll get to that. You can collect the power ups from the bosses you beat. I don't know what they all do, but I'm sure it's just swell. Mega Man is a Capcom game that started a long, long journey on the NES, all of the way to being a PC game on Steam. 1 to 6 are on the NES console, but the rest are all over the place. The Super Nintendo hosted a huge chunk of the Mega Man X series, and eventually the Game Boy, PlayStation, and PC would pick up the torch and carry it. I always thought that Mega Man X was 10, but it's the beginning of the new timeline involving a character referred as just X. What a name! It's almost like they had the idea before the name, and they just forgot th to name him, so they just left his name with the variable. I wish I had a positive thing to say, because I love several of the games. In the series, I just don't understand how to go with this one though. I imagine if you wanted this game for a weekend, you'd want your money worth. So you would just grin and bear it. It probably looks something like. Are you winning, son? No! A few other things I've noticed is why is it so much to ask? I just simply turn around. He must have had oil on his robo toes because look, it takes almost the gentlest tap to be able to just turn the other way. Did somebody say infinite enemies? Yep, this game too. It's farmable though, if you're in the need of health. So I guess it's okay, but if you're on a ladder, it's a pain. You fall down to the lower level and when you come back up, more enemies, yay! 
Like you never even tried to begin with! One last thing. Look at the cover art! It's Nightmare Fuel. This looks like the original version of Squid Games. Why is he wearing a football helmet from the 1940s? It even protect them back then. How is this going to stop anything in the future? <sighs> Whatever, I'm going to go read the paper and complain about the weather. So I'm going to wrap this up before I end up bald from stress. I'm getting too old for this. In conclusion, Mega Man, the game you love to hate. I also hate that I love it.